everybody. Welcome back to the podcast, My View on the View, where I make the juice table relatable, relatable to our everyday lives. So come on in, let's get started. Come on. I am back, guys, with another positive story. Y'all know I tell you all the time, and I know you're sick of hearing it, but I don't care. I'm going to keep saying it. These are my favorite stories to do. They, they are so positive. You know what I'm saying? Now, We talked about, I guess, a couple days ago, whenever it was, you know, Whoopi relaunching finally after all this time, her new cannabis medicinal and now it's recreational cannabis business um, called now Emma and Clyde. Okay. Well, I want to tell you something else. And the business, um, the the licensing people she uh, entered into an agreement with, I think I told you guys was a minority led business. Well, she's also helping yet another minority owned business. So let's talk about this. So she's lending her name, you know, her image, okay, and her dollars because she's investing in this company. She has helped to launch Black Cannabis Magazine. And she is featured on the inaugural cover, which you saw there in the thumbnail. And of course, thumbnails are small, but on our community uh, wall here on the YouTube channel, I have put the full cover so that you can see her and you can see kind of the other stories there. And for those of you who may be interested, I'm also going to put a link to the Black Cannabis Magazine, uh, their online magazine. Now, I'm not getting anything for doing, you know, telling you that and putting that link there. It's just, I, I know that our audience here literally spans the world. And so people may be interested in that. So let's continue talking about this here. So she, like I said, she's featured on the cover. She talks about helping them and, and, you know, just being on this cover and what this meant to her. And this is what she said. It's an honor to grace the very first cover of Black Cannabis Magazine. As a longtime cannabis advocate and entrepreneur, I'm happy to support the launch of a new publication focused on starting conversations and covering issues that educate, entertain, and inspire people of color in the cannabis community. Now, the publisher and founder, um, Mr. Hazy Taught Me, says, I found it Black Cannabis Magazine as a must-read cultural hub and content mecca highlighting black excellence in the cannabis business. I believe that legal marijuana can and will change the economic trajectory for people of color. Black Cannabis Magazine is on a mission to shed light on the positive impact of legal marijuana on the global marketplace and the role people of color are playing to educate, advocate, and help rewire long outdated beliefs and social mores surrounding this plant. So I'm excited. You know, what be just is just a great person. Yes, sometimes she gets on my last nerves on the show, but I love her and I love what she does. You know, all of the work she did there in New York and in New Jersey, trying to advocate for the vaccine and getting out. You know, a lot of people who are rich, they don't do that kind of stuff, y'all. So guys, I'll talk to you later and uh, hey, have a good one. Be my friend. I'm the one you ride, I'm the one you ride too